Hey, good afternoon, guys. Today, we are making surf and turf, beef, fried rice, and fish, and broccoli. Um, I hope everyone's doing good today. Good afternoon. You want to learn how to make this? Stay tuned. Okay, guys. So, for our beef and fish fried rice, we're going to be... Um, this is all our ingredients here. And... We've, what we did was we took some sirloin beef, okay, and we cut it into strips, okay, so that's what we've got there, okay, we've got some rice um, that we cooked and we let it cool, okay, we've got some soy sauce, and oyster sauce mixture in here with a little bit of vinegar okay we've got an egg but that's going to be for the second part of the rice we've got broccoli onions uh green pepper and peas and a little bit of olive oil okay and we've also got fish we've got some fish cut up um but we're gonna use that the first rice i'm gonna make is gonna be the first serving i'm gonna make is gonna be without the fish, because I'm making it for someone else who doesn't like fish in it. And I'm making it without the egg also. Okay, so guys, if you're new here, you know, I'm glad to have you here. Thank you for stopping by my channel. Please take the um, chance to, a second to subscribe. All you have to do is hit the subscribe button, and like that, you'll be notified of any videos that I post. And if you're coming, if you're coming back to see my video, um, welcome back. Thank you for being here. And again, if you haven't subscribed, please just take a second to do so. All right, so let's start. All right, so we're going to add a little bit of olive oil. Okay, about a teaspoon to a tablespoon. You don't need much. Um, it's a non-stick fry pan. Okay, and we're going to also combine that with a little bit of um, regular oil. I'm using canola oil. Okay, so let's mix that up a little bit. Okay, just make sure that your pan is nice and hot. All right, and we're going to add some bell pepper. And we're going to just stir that around a little. not going to use too much bell pepper because this person I'm making this for doesn't like a lot of peppers in their food. We're also going to be using a little bit of nor chicken bouillon and of course one of my favorite seasonings the chicken rotisserie seasoning and some white pepper. Okay we're going to add a little bit of white onion Okay, let me just make sure my pan is not too high. I want it to be hot, but I don't want to burn. You know, I don't want everything to be cooked so fast and everything gets burnt. So, okay. just saute that a little bit. All right, so we're going to move the peppers and onions off to the side. I'm going to see if we can get some of that oil in the middle. Okay. All right, we might have to add a little bit more oil. Okay, we'll just add a little bit more. There we go. Move the onions and the peppers to the side so they don't burn. Okay, and we're gonna add okay, our meat. Okay, we try to put, put it in a single layer, every piece of meat, so they can cook all the way through. 
Okay, so. All right, so we're gonna let that cook. Okay, just sit for a minute. So I could cook on one side, and we're gonna turn it over on the other side. And after we're done with that, we're gonna um, add our peas and our broccoli. Okay, and a little bit of our seasoning. Okay, so we've let our meat cook on both sides, so we're gonna remove it. So now we're going to add our vegetables, we're going to add our green peas, broccoli, Okay, so we're just going to mix this until it's heated up. <clears throat> so we're going to be adding our rice next. Okay, guys, again, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Just hit the notification bell, the subscribe button, and like that, you'll be one of the first to know when I post another video. You like what you see so far? Don't forget to subscribe. Just take a second. That's all it takes. All right, so we're gonna add our rice. Okay, we're gonna move this to the side. And before we add our rice, we're gonna add a little bit of um, oil again. Okay, just a bit. We're not adding a lot. Just maybe a teaspoonful. That's all we need. There we go. Okay, and we're gonna add our rice. Again, this is rice that was cooked about two to um, three hours ago. All right. And then I just took it and I let it cool because it needs to be dry in order to make the fried rice. Okay. And now we're going to stir it to make sure that every grain is coated and set and becomes separate. All right, so we're going to add a little bit of more flavoring in here. I'm going to add maybe a little bit of the um, chicken. I mean, I did add this when I um, cooked the rice when I first boiled it. Okay, but it's you know I like to add a little bit more flavor. looking good we're gonna add the meat back in actually before I add the meat I want to add a little bit of the um, soy sauce mixture
just want to smell it to see how it smells. Okay. Add a little bit more of that sauce. Yeah, I don't like to add too much because of the um, salt content. That's our rice. Okay, it's ready. Sorry, I hit the camera, guys. The camera's right, right, right there next to me. And every once in a while, I'll hit it. All right. Okay, and that's it for the rice. Before I even plate this, let me taste it. Now the best time. What's the best time? The best time is to take. Look at that. It's beautiful. Beautiful surf and turf. Surf and turf rice. Beef. And well, actually, not the surf. We don't have the, the surf yet. That's gonna be for the second part of this video coming up. Right after this. But um, we've got the beef, beef fried rice with broccoli. Okay, and we're gonna taste it again. Mm. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Let me taste the meat. Forgot all about the meat. All right. We're going to taste it right now. All righty. There we go. Get a little bit piece of the meat. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, it's very good. I forgot to tell you guys. Um I marinated the meat overnight in soy sauce, vinegar, garlic, oregano, and some um chicken spices. Chicken po um poultry spices. And it's oh it's perfect. It's very good. Delicious. Okay guys, I'm back. So now we're going to make the um, beef and um, fish fried rice. So I'm going to add a little bit of oil. Gonna, I'll first saute the um, vegetables. Okay, the green pepper and onion. Put a little 
little bit more onion in there. Okay. All right, so the first dish I made it was just the beef and the broccoli. Okay, so this one is gonna have fish in addition to the beef. So this one is gonna be the surf and turf. All right, so we've got our onions and our green pepper going. Just a teaspoon, not a lot. Okay, and we're going to add here we've got our fish and we've got our beef. So we're going to, um, hmm, let's cook the um, fish first. I'm going to do the beef first, but you know what? Let's do the fish first. Also, I marinated this overnight in some vinegar, garlic, oregano, and other seasonings. Okay, some adobo and um, some Old Bay. Okay, so we're going to let that cook on one side. All right, so we've added our beef now. Our chicken is cooked. I mean, our chicken. I'm sorry. Our fish is cooked. There it is. So now we've added our beef. And I almost forgot we also have an egg that I want to put in here. So that's going to go in next. Okay. So we're just going to let that finish cooking. Okay, our meat is cooked, so we're going to remove that. Okay, we're going to add a little bit of olive oil. Just a little. So that just in so that our egg doesn't stick. Okay, there we go. All right, it might stick a little anyway because we already put the meat and the, um, the fish in there. So hopefully it won't be too much of a mess. Let's see what happens. Okay. All right, that's not bad. Okay. it off here to the side. Let's leave it over here. Okay. Okay, so I needed to use, I see a little bit more oil, but that's fine. want this to get heated through. The broccoli um, have been previously boiled so it's soft. The peas were at room temperature because they've been sitting out for a while. 
So it should come up to temperature really quickly. Okay, so. All right, guys, so if you like fried rice, let me know in the comments how you like it. Let me know if you've ever made it. Let me know if you intend to make it. Okay, do um, you like beef fried rice, vegetable fried rice, chicken fried rice, shrimp fried rice, or a combination? You know, maybe you just like plain fried rice. Maybe you just like it plain. There's nothing in it. And that's fine too. Okay, so we're going to add... I have a rice in here. Okay, I'm going to move this to the side. Add our rice. Okay, and again, this was rice that was made earlier. And I just put it out to um, cool and to dry. Okay, because it's difficult to make fried rice with rice that is has just been made. a little bit more okay, stir that around right. we're going to add a little bit of our sauce I'm going to start with a teaspoonful Rice in there. And then the broccoli in there too, and the egg. Okay. You chop the egg up a little bit more. All right, and we're also going to add our fish and our our beef. I should have added the fish last. So, so it doesn't break up so much, but okay, let's see what happens. Okay, and it's good, you know, um, to cook this until you see all the rice grains are separate. Okay, you don't see any clumps in there. All right, and what we're gonna do is I'm gonna um, first I'm gonna taste it. I want to make sure there's enough seasoning in here and enough of the soy sauce. Mm -hmm. It's good. I'm going to add a little bit of the bouillon powder. I totally forgot about it. It just adds a little bit more flavor in it. Mm. Okay. I'm gonna also add a little bit more of the um, soy sauce mix. I'm trying not to hit the camera. <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay, let's see. I'm going to taste this again. Done with that. 
put some on a plate now. And I forgot about the um, white pepper. Let's put a little bit of white pepper in there too. guys that's how it looks yeah, it's beautiful let me taste it okay this piece has a little bit of the fish in it oh mm -mm -mm. oh I like that with the fish that's really good let me just have another piece Oops, sorry about that. Getting a little too excited here. Oh yeah. Mmm. Mmm mmm mmm. Oh, I can't wait to make this again. This is really good. Mmm. Thanks for stopping by, guys.